Hello everyone. Let's learn how you can create a new financial year in the Marg ERP software. And in this video, we will learn to create the coming financial year that is 2024 to 2025. Before starting the process, you have to keep in mind some important points. First, before creating a new financial year, don't forget to take the backup of the previous financial year. And how you can take the backup of the financial year? For that, you can take the help of the link of backup of financial year provided in the description box. Second, if you use multi-user software, then you will create a new financial year on your main system only. and it is mandatory to close the software on other node system and third you also have to close the server backup file that is auto backup file apart from this you will pay attention to some other important points like chalans are transferred only once and once the previous year's chalans are transferred to the new financial year they will not be shown in the previous year so please keep this in mind while transferring the chalans Similarly pending purchase and sale orders from your previous year will not be shown in your new financial year however when you create a bill in the new financial year you will see a pop up window of your pending orders on billing window which you can choose to load into the bill as per your requirement additionally post dated checks that is pdc that you issued in the previous year will be shown in the both the new financial year and the previous financial year In addition to this any sale bill created in the previous year can be viewed in the new financial year but they cannot be modified after creating the new financial year you can also apply user wise restrictions furthermore you can easily transfer your previous year's profit to the new financial year these are some chalans pdcs sales bill and pending orders that we created in the previous year which is from 2023 to 2024 and this is our profit once we complete the process of creating the new financial year we will implement the discussed points to show you clearly now let's start the process of creating a new financial year for which firstly we will select that company from the list of companies of which we want to create a new financial year for and press enter on it or press the f8 key then on this window click on the new financial year option given here so This window of new financial year creation will open in which the software is showing you the previous financial year and the new financial year. Here you will note that the new financial year from 1st April 2024 till 31st March 2025 will be created. If 30th April 2025 is shown instead of 31st March 2025 at the time of creating the new financial year, then you will correct the date manually, which is from 1st April 2024 till 31st March 2025. After that, click on the accept button. Then this window of you are going to create new books of account from this date to this date shall i proceed will open to confirm you will click on the yes button from here as soon as you click on yes the window of transfer option will open from here you can select those options which you want to transfer from the previous year to the new financial year by setting it as yes for example you can see transfer ledger balance here If you want to transfer the ledger balances of the previous year to the new financial year then from the drop down of ledger balances you will select yes otherwise keep it as no similarly if you want to transfer the outstanding stock balances and breakage expiry stock of the previous year to the new financial year then you will select yes from the drop down of these fields otherwise keep them as no then are non working parties non working items and non working batches if you want to transfer those parties items and batches to the new financial year with whom no dealings are done in the previous year that is no transaction have taken place then you will select them as yes otherwise select as no then is chalans transfer similarly you can transfer the chalans like sales chalan sale return chalan sale breakage expiry chalan and replace chalan by default The chalan transfer option is selected as no 
as chalan can be transferred only once so if you want to transfer the chalans of your previous year to the new financial year then from the drop down you will select as yes for these option otherwise keep it as no here we want to tell you that all the transfer chalans will be shown in the new financial year as the date of 1st april 2024 and the same process will be followed for the purchase chalan transfer so if you want to transfer any purchase chalan from the purchase chalan shown to you here to the new financial year then you will select as yes for these fields otherwise keep it as no after this is transfer pending orders field option If you want to transfer the pending sale order and purchase order of the previous year to the new financial year then you will select this option as yes otherwise you will keep it as no then you will press enter and to do the further process you will select yes for shall i proceed in this way the process of new year creation will start in the software please do not interrupt it or close the system otherwise it will affect your data after that an alert message of create new history will be shown to you if you want to forward the bill history of the previous year to the current year then you can run the bill history for which by following the path shown in the alert message you can create a batch and bill history for now we will click on close then from the list of companies window you will click on that company of which we have just created the new financial year then from here you will press enter on the mark gateway then you will see the new financial year along with the old financial year will be shown to you now you will select the new financial year and press enter on it in this way you will come to the software's home screen and now you can start working in the new financial year also keep this in mind that once the new financial year is created do not delete it as the chalan is transferred only once and here we would like to tell you that in case you have made any changes in the previous year and want to bring their effect to the new financial year so after making changes in the previous year the software will show you a pop up window of carry balance in the new financial year like this with the help of this window you can transfer the previous year's changes to the new financial year please note that before doing the carry balance you should take the backup of your software so as you can see on the screen an alert window is showing in which it will ask you that whether you want to transfer the changes made in the last year to the current year along with this some options are given to you below if you want to transfer all the changes made in the last year to the new financial year so you will simply click on the yes tab and if this carry balance window does not appear while entering the new financial year then you can use the carry balance option provided in the software with which the previous year's changes will get transferred to the new financial year so for that carry balance option firstly we will go to reports menu then to management reports and then come to utilities and from here click on the carry balance option then this carry balance window will open the software will confirm with you that your carry balances are being transferred from the last financial year to the current financial year we will click on yes then the carry options window will open similar to the transfer options window from here you will select yes to those options which you want to transfer and by pressing enter you will come to the carry general reminder option select this field to yes and then press enter After that a confirmation message of start carrying from last year will be shown to you you will click on yes and confirm it in this way the previous year's balances will be carried forward to the new year now if you want to check whether all the ledgers along with their balances have been carried forward to the new financial year or not so for that by pressing control plus l key on the software's home screen you can see the changes Similarly by pressing control plus i key you can see the balances of the items apart from these let's implement the points we discussed before starting the process as we mentioned after the transfer of chalans they are removed from the previous year so you can see that the chalans we created in the previous year have been removed from here and they are now shown in the new financial year starting on 1st april next are the pending orders As we mentioned your previous year's pending sale and purchase order will only appear in a pop-up window when you generate a bill in the new financial year 
So, when you generate the sale and purchase bill, such type of pop-up window of pending orders will be shown to you. You can choose to select and load pending orders into the bill if you wish. After that, to check post dated check, that is PDC, you will come to Parties Ledger in New Financial Year. Then pressing the F8 key on the party ledger, you can see the PDC created in the previous year, which are now shown as they are in the new financial year. After that, if you want to view the sale transaction of the previous year, so on the home screen of new financial year, you will press Alt plus L key. Then you will enter the ledger for which you want to see the sale bill transaction of the last year. Click on the ledger button. Then press Alt plus F1 key. Select last year. So you can see that the entry for the last year has been displayed. You can view this entry but cannot make any modification to it. Next, now if you want to transfer last year's profit to the new financial year, you need to transfer the profit into the capital account. For this, in new financial year window, we will go to accounts menu, then to voucher entry then to journal and click on this journal option. Now on the debit side, select the ledger for profit and loss and mention the amount to be transferred. Then on the credit side, select the capital account. After creating the entry, simply save it. In this way, your previous year profit get transferred into the current year. Lastly, let's discuss that you have multiple operators working with you. And if you want that, after creating the new financial year, some restriction must be applied on them, such as not allowing operators to switch to the previous year or not allowing them to modify any entry from the previous year, etc. For this, you will come to Master's menu, then to Password and Powers, and then click on Operators, then click on the Supervisor ID. Then click on search in all option and search for the last year. Then click on accept. Then the last year's data entry option will be shown to you. In the drop down, you will find multiple options. If you want to ban operators from the last year, select last year ban from the drop down. Or if you want to give them permission to enter or edit the previous year, then select the entry, edit and amend option and so on. For now, we are selecting last year ban. Then press the escape key to save the changes and go back. Now, press Ctrl plus U key on the home screen. Then log in with the user of whom you have set the foundation. Then from the mark gateway, select the last year. Now, you can see that the user is not eligible to switch to the last year. That's it. So in this way, you can create a new financial year in Marg ERP software and can carry forward your balances from the previous year to the new year. Thanks for watching.